How are we doing guys? So Dan from Trading with Dan here. So this is our um, stock market and other major indices and also individual shares um, update um, for mainly the TD sequential. Um, so we'll go straight over to the charts. Um, so yeah, you can see um, the SPX. Um, we are um, <laughs> we're looking very strong again. We look like we're going to break down this formation. Look like we're going to well, we tested the 0.5. Um, look like we're going to test the 382. Look like we were maybe getting some downward momentum, but then, but then, just then, bang, this happened. Um, so yeah, we're back, back, right up there at the 618, testing the 618. Um, so yeah, I mean, the more times we test this level, the more you think we are just going to break through. Um, but yeah, so there's not really much to say about that other than you may have your views on where the stock market will go. A lot of um, big players in the um, in the, the financial um, industry have got their views and they've got their big shorts on. Um, but yeah, but they are currently not getting paid. So if they can they can keep getting squeezed, um, they're eventually going to have to stop out, at which point we're going to have a ferocious rally upwards. Um, but that may not happen. That may not happen. Maybe all the people that are buying this market up, maybe we'll start to get some some proper weakness, and they will capitulate. Um, we'll have to see. Um, at the moment, there's nothing else to say other than this is an absolute textbook bear market bounce that we get at the start of plenty of recessions and depressions in the past. Um, you would then expect this to be your initial um, initial down phase, um, your bear market bounce, and then we'll take out take out even lower lows. Um, the last last bear markets we've had have taken taken years taken like sometimes sometimes two or three years to actually find a bottom so just, just this is exactly what this looks like at the moment but it doesn't have to be that way and um, we just have to trade what we see trade what happens um but yeah so we'll, we'll just have to see what happens there four hours see if we've got anything going on the four hour um again it's just um it's just quite bullish um Looking at the top, we had a nice four hour nine there, which did um, reduce, well, reduce price a bit. <laughs> it did make us come down a little bit, but we were straight back up there. So, um, yeah, so we'll have to see what happens. But um, um, if I was a selling things, if I was a bear, which, which <laughs> full disclosure, I am, <laughs> I would be thinking I would be a bit worried about just what keeps on happening at the moment. But um, but hey, you just gotta you just gotta do what you gotta do, haven't you? Um, trade your edge and see what happens um down to the hourly see if we've got anything going on um not too much on the hourly um what we do have though is the 21 crossing back over the 50 um so maybe maybe we're going to test some short-term downside but um yeah obviously the future this is the future they're opening pretty strong um fully fully got rid of all um yesterday's um yesterday's um um, basically sell off into the into the close this was a the sell off into the close yesterday um but yeah so let's have a look at oil another another one of those um what's going on here we got um we got some dodgy prints yeah we've got trading view messing up some dodgy prints so we can't we'll have to wait for them to sort that out let's have a look at uso instead um it's not the greatest here chart let's look at the four hour Yes, USO on the four hour. Um, looks like we're getting a nine here. Um, potentially going to get a bit of sell off then um, in um, in this um, in this particular contract. Um, the last one did stall us a bit. Uh, maybe this one is going to give us a bit more of a significant retracement. Um, we do look like we're heading for this cross with the twenty one and the fifty, but um, it's not confirmed yet. Um, and if we do come down below it, I'll obviously have to start dragging that down. So we may get that. It may be a fake out like we had here. Um, a bit of a fake out and then just then bang and we'll see what happens um, but yeah again it's uh, well you can't even really call this a bear market bounce because we've come down so far I mean we're still basically fully fully bearish um, in the longer time frame but yeah we'll see what happens gold is a another interesting one um, so we had that perfect four hour nine play out here um, and we're back at another four hour nine so um um, yeah, <clears throat> all I will say is the last one was sort of a double nine, so I was a bit more convinced on that one. This is only the first nine, but if we are going to sustain a bit more weakness from this level here, maybe this is going to reverse the price. Um, so yeah, again, this is definitely one to look for. Um, if we don't get supported by this 4 hour 21, um, if we trade below here, um, we could potentially be looking for a bit more downside. Um, 
we'll draw some we'll draw some lines on so maybe oh we don't want red ones it's so it's so negative i don't need that negativity in my life uh, let's have some white ones um right so and then let's have another one just for an arrow pointing where we could potentially go so yeah i would think maybe yeah maybe a test down of the 200 and the four hour so maybe maybe we're heading down here again guys but I'm just to take out this low i mean maybe we'll get some sort of a uh take out this low um to get the stops um below here uh blow them out and then maybe maybe back to the upside and over 1800 um yeah do you know what i might even put an arrow for that i mean this this is one of my pet hates people that predict that we move down to a level and then reverse then go up i mean at any given point it is so hard to actually predict the direction a market is going to go um it's going to go um just that the single choice either up or down that is hard enough hard enough decision to make let alone make that decision then pick a level that it's then going to reverse at and then turn around and go the other way. I personally think that's asinine. So, hey, here you go, here guys. Here's my um, here's my asinine prediction. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. <laughs> anyway, let's have a look on the daily. We don't think we have much going on um, sequential-wise on the daily. Yeah, I mean, oh, wow, look at that. It corresponds perfectly with the daily 21. So, there we go. So, we've got a bit of confluence around there. So, yeah, maybe that maybe this is it. This misses the play. Maybe this is the potential. It's the potential play. Obviously, we could keep going down. There's no reason to bounce there. We could test the 50 on the daily, um, which is would be perfectly reasonable. Um, and that is around. Well, yeah, that is around 16, 80, 82. All I would say about testing this 50 on the daily is that you don't often get a lot of opportunities to buy buy the recent low. And if you've got one, two, three opportunities and you then get given another one before you go up, I mean, I would expect us to take it up the area and then potentially go down to here. I mean, you're going to have a lot of stops. Like I spoke about the stops we've got here, we're going to have a lot more stops here. So um, these are, these could potentially get triggered and fire us straight down to the 200, um, <laughs> which then... <laughs> I mean, this is it's like it's like the waterfall effect of stops, and then what will happen is we could then potentially break the 200 stops, like we did here, fake fake them out, and then just catapult to the upside. Just um, just this is how markets trade. This is the games that this is the games that uh, market participants play. So things you just got to be aware of. Let's look at silver. Silver. What's silver doing? So we drew this on from the nine, but obviously we've not broken this line, so we don't have to sell. Do you know what this i would love for us just to basically drive through this nine because one um i have i own lots of silver um <laughs> so like yeah let's just go up and not go down um two we could start like a bit more of a bullish structure if we do have another push up another basically nine day move up and then that would also offer a great trading opportunity i think for the double nine to then get a good selling um for a bit of a retrace so and that that retrace could then set us up for a um another nice move up so the daily nines obviously on silver we've already been through this daily nine here on the low like absolutely amazing daily nine here which then did offer out some weakness um nine there some weakness and then also this was the high the recent high the recent high it's not the high the high in silver is like 50 dollars i think um we'll, we'll check that in a sec so this was the recent high which was again 19 odd dollars and was a was a perfect daily nine so you got to keep an eye perfect daily nine here as well these are these this is why i use this indicator this is why i love this indicator um obviously they don't all work but they usually will get the big trend changes so yeah let's have a look on the weekly what's what silver's all-time high why why we need can we get more weeks than that let's go in the monthly uh, there we go oh jesus guys wow let's go to the weekly refresh this <laughs> sometimes sometimes why is it doing that <laughs> right here we go here it is anyway yeah basically just no it's not just shy of 50 dollars why would it have a line at 52 dollars don't if don't ask don't ask me that is it something to do with 52 weeks in the year so we're going to have a line of what just that's just insane just i don't understand things sometimes but we were over 50 dollars so yeah high 50 dollars yeah amazing so what <laughs> what i want to see <laughs> is basically this is just um this is just my 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 silver wet dreams it's just that we basically we get a big move up in silver past that 50 dollar pack basically we get a big move up in silver right just 
disregard price targets and then what we also get and gold and gold and then we also get this gold silver ratio that we talk about do we look at this on the daily we get this gold silver ratio also take a big move down as well which then silver can mean silver will be going up comparably to gold more um like second altcoin basically it's got high beta to gold um so that's what we want i want to want to see that so that's a that'd be a double whammy for the price of silver at which point fifty dollars won't be the target it will be it will be two hundred dollars no let's wait yeah it will be two hundred dollars yeah <laughs> but let's 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 try and get to four hundred dollars first but yeah a hundred dollars will be my first target and um and then also i basically buy physical silver so i stockpiled physical silver in a in a in a in a safe in a vault at a bank um silver bars and there will be a premium on physical silver as well so if we can get to like say a hundred dollars on this market this this actual spot market the premium could easily be another 50 percent so that would put it a hundred and fifty dollars um and bear in mind i've been buying silver just from ten dollars an ounce so to sell it for a hundred and fifty dollars is a 15x so there we go anyway that's what i'm looking at silver right let's have a look how did the nvidia nvidia again i think we're not gonna um today um unless you have a big sell-off we're actually opening obviously stronger in the futures we know that's in nvidia will likely open higher but these are two reversal looking candles but again this is your safe zone to sell so basically break below here's a sell but if we we can carry on marching higher um this is is not it is not um something that just that doesn't happen i mean these nines you just got to sell them when you get the sell trigger and um, you can't just blindly trade them all thinking we're going to sell off um home depot we have got a nice daily nine here so i'll probably i mean i'll, I'll be a bit conservative <clears throat> maybe look for um yeah maybe look for a break below here let's get rid of the arrow here we go a break below here um, and now let's actually have the arrow and then yeah i mean we have got that we've got a 200 on the daily which is basically flat as you can see we've got the 50s period has started to slightly move up <clears throat> but yeah i mean possibly a move down to at least the 50 period here <clears throat> especially if we break the 200 and which will that that will keep them we'll start bringing price down a bit um well start sorry start bringing these up start to turn these averages down especially the 21 um have we got anything we can zero in on the four hour no no nice nines or anything to to help us trade trade this on the four hour i mean as you can see we've already started to sell off so we're gonna we're not going to struggle to get a buy nine a, sorry a sell nine a green nine already because i mean you see we're working we're working red council already now so yeah we've had the earnings obviously that their, their earnings must have not have been as great um but yeah so yeah maybe that's what we're looking at home depot but anyway daily nine for us to keep our eyes on amazon amazon literally what well, this is just the this is just basically um this this is just basically the stock market this is everything this this is all the world is now amazon just amazon is everything but what is this date 15th of april so in a whole month we've not really done a lot guys so not done a lot let's have a look at this on a weekly we're at this high i mean we are consolidating this looks a lot like the bitcoin price we're consolidating at highs so it's, it looks like a bull flag so potentially break up but oh wow i didn't even realize we, we've got a weekly nine here too so we've got a weekly nine and a daily nine so if there was ever an opportunity to sell amazon um <laughs> for a good risk reward trade if you do break below some of these levels then i think this is basically it so we'll um we'll draw some lines on here i mean because we're looking at this at a week on a weekly also um i mean you could potentially look for a sell zone there but maybe i'll, I'll draw a line through this sort of this real more recent support here um it's a bit wonky that line isn't it um we'll get rid of the arrow again and um and then i would look for a move definitely because of the weekly nine i would be looking i would i wouldn't be looking to take profits until at least the uh the 200 day uh moving average just because of this also uh and there we go there's the confluence again um and it takes us to the 50 period um moving average on the weekly so 
um yeah that's what i'm looking at for that um I've, i'm this video might have gone on a little bit hey look i haven't looked at tesla for a while what's tesla done so there we go fantastic nine you get your sell trade you don't this is what i'm saying you wait for the trade you wait for the trade to get presented to you when we break below one of the candles you get it here once we break below this candle and then you make a fantastic profit of is this real oh we're on a weekly this so this was a weekly nine this is the last weekly nine you made a fantastic profit of um of nearly 60 percent so that that's basically a great td trade but the daily we had a daily nine i know we did yeah it was here look and we didn't basically we didn't you would have taken the sell trade um and then you basically would have had to have stopped out um so you can see also although if you were trading it more conservatively conservatively where you only take the red ones trading below the red twos sorry the red twos trading below the red ones you didn't actually get that at any point so you will still be um you still wouldn't have taken that trade um but yeah look great nine here on the low oh sadly no nine here alas, alas no nine <laughs> But yeah, but here we go, a great one on the lows and the, incidentally, the 200 period moving average. Um, so yeah, it's looking for Alpha Tesla. I mean, this is my this is my bias speaking, but these a lot of these are looking toppy. Um, and we are either going to break up or we're going to break down. And just my bias, my bias is, is breaking down. And but my bias is fully governed by just what is going on in the real world and what um, stock markets are supposedly expecting to happen in the future but i don't think it is they are positive on what they're expecting in the future i think they're positive on just literally the the fed liquidity um so that is what's driving them not future expectations so on that basis a, a degradation of future expectations of the economy and the actual basically where they think things will be isn't necessarily going to have an effect it will only be um contraction of fed credit basically that would potentially or just a, a like a, a vol of vol or basically a reduction in the in the amount um like the second derivative of the amount so a reduction in the amount that they're giving um, <laughs> right let me explain this one more time so a slowdown in the ever increasing amounts that they're basically pumping in the market that's what i'm trying to say so yeah that could drive us down in in equities but i don't think like the economic gravity of the situation is what's driving the situation is what's driving the situation but anyway yeah so there we go so yeah i will stop the video now because i think we looked at enough things any tickers any things any markets you want me to look at remember just put them in the description and i'll do them in the net in tomorrow's video um and yeah remember not a financial advice i'm not a financial advisor always do your own research and i will speak to you guys soon